Welcome back to Moab TV. Now that you've chosen your favorite pictures and you've started to make prints, what's the next step in keeping your photos looking their best? It starts before you even put your paper in the printer. First, keep your paper in the original packaging until you're ready to print. Take out just the number of sheets you think you'll need for that day's printing. When you're finished, if you have any sheets of paper left over, make sure you put them back in the original box. When handling inkjet paper, do so from the edges and avoid the printing surface. Oil from your skin can interact with the printer inks and leave a noticeable mark in your final print. After your photo leaves the printer, set it aside to dry on a flat surface for 15 to 30 minutes. This allows water in the ink to evaporate and begins the curing process. If possible, leave your print to dry for at least 24 hours before framing or storing. This gives the ink time to off-gas and cure in the paper. If you're making a large number of prints and you don't have the space to spread them out, you can stack them with a regular sheet of paper in between each one for the duration of the drying time. Once your prints have dried, they're ready to be framed. If you're using a cotton rag or matte paper, we recommend spraying your print with Moab Desert Varnish if you're not immediately framing it behind glass. Rag papers stay porous after the printing process and will absorb fingerprints, humidity, and ultraviolet light. Desert varnish helps to protect your print, creating an invisible barrier over the image. When spraying desert varnish, make sure you do so outside or in a very well-ventilated area. It helps to have your print up at an angle, so I like to use the bottom of an old paper box. Simply take your spray, give it a good shake, and then apply it in even strokes from side to side. Once you've done your first coat, wait three to four minutes, and then rotate your print 90 degrees and recoat it in the same direction. If you've made more prints than you're ready to frame, we recommend storing the extras in an archival box. Paper boxes, envelopes, and other commercial paper products are not archival or made for storing art and can actually damage your prints over time. Moab has two archival storage options to help you keep your prints looking their best the Chinle Archival Box, and the Chinle Economy Folio. Economy Folio is a half inch deep and comes in sizes up to 17 by 22. It has a Velcro closure and lays flat when you open it, so it's also a great way to store and transport a printed portfolio. The Archival Box is two inches deep and comes in sizes up to 13 by 19. It's rigid and a great way to store a larger number of prints for a long period of time. Both boxes are made from archival and acid-free materials and help protect your prints from dust, dirt, and other environmental factors. Thanks for tuning in to Moab TV. I hope these tips will help you keep your prints looking great for many years to come.